Got beef. Got beef. Can, can someone tell me what Roberto Man Martinez has achieved in his career? I'll give you a, a, a moment. So once you've told me what he's achieved in his career, in a great achievement, put it in the comments below and I'll respond. 28 man preliminary squad. Usual names, you know, you've got, you know, Minule, Kotwa, Company, all the viral, the Lukaku brothers, the Hazard bro um, brothers, uh, Michi Patswa is there, but this is the preliminary squad, so who knows, maybe Michi Patswa may me miss it. So midfielders, De Bruyne, Musa Dembele, um, Carrasco, plays in China, Charlie, Fellaini, Brick, ha and Token Hazard, Adna, Yanusash. Um, Tillemans Vitzel plays in China. But what one name is missing? Raja Nainggolan is missing. Didn't Nainggolan help Roma reach the semis? I looked at some stats. Let me throw some stats because I was in the um, talking to to these banter guys. Let me. Look at some stats, because I, I know I know some of you kids like like stats. I know some of you you kids like stats. I went I went to the research that Raja Nangolan in the Champions League and Syria for Roma since 2015-2016, 196 most chances created, 214 most tackles won. To say his omission is idiotic is an understatement. Martinez is not a very good manager. Martinez is obsessed with attack, attack, attack. So when you're obsessed with attack, 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 the one player that you need is a Nainggolan, who is your perfect anchor midfielder who can help stop counter-attacks and give some weight and some structure to your mid midfield because his passing is, is great. His shooting, as we saw against Liverpool, is outstanding. And he is a superb tackler. And he's a great hustler. And my thing is this, Martinez. Say you have beef with him. Say it's personal. If you come out and you say that it's for tactical reasons, then I call you a chump. I call you a loser. Because apparently Martinez actually flew and told this to Nangolan face to face. And after Nangolan said that he's actually retired from international football. But... For Martinez, we all know that it's not. It can't. If it's tactical reasons, then you should you should be be sacked, because any manager saying that you're not going to put in one of the best Belgian, I'd argue with this. For me, if if I'm going via all round talents in this team, and based on form, I would go De Bruyne, Hazard, Nangola. In that order. I'm putting him above Mertens, Carrasco, Witzel, Company. I'm putting him based on talent, ability, and form and how well he's played this season. I'm putting him third behind um, Hazard and De, De Bruyne. So, because Martinez, you're actually doing your team a disservice. Because Witzel is a, Witzel is a quality player. He plays in China. The quality is very low. And to go from such low quality that you're playing with in China and against in China to international level, you're going to be messed up. Guys, I'm going to... My group analysis with the Banzer guys is coming very soon. You're going to be very shocked. Because I'm telling you right now, England, England are beating Belgium. And I think England are going to top, top this, this group. Because if I'm England and I'm Guy Southgate, you're like... <laughs> they're not taking nine goal line? That means we have less work to do in that midfield because you can do all your pass and all your trick and all this kind of stuff. You need structure. You need a tackler. You need an enforcer. You, you can't just attack for, 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 for 90 minutes because you're not Brazil. And even Brazil, in 2002, they had Gilberto Silva. They had Cleberson. So with all of the attack, they had an anchor in midfield who held things together. Because you know what, the reason why, why this annoys me is... 
it's very unproper professional because you're bringing your personal grievance with someone and you're sacrificing your your team because this is different from the france thing because based on what's because again what, from from watching espn fc julian the french journalist he said and if the said said that marshall's attitude for the team wasn't very good and it was proven to be toxic and remember and deschamps never came out and said it was tactical deschamps just didn't say anything and for and i, I think for deschamps he's pretty much said everything without saying anything which is that read be, between the lines you know what, what it is and by julian saying this deschamps were like no all the journalists and all the people they know why it is i don't need to come out and fully in, enunciate it but martinez you came out and you said tactical reasons which shows us no no you're you're you're, you're being chumpish about this it's it's personal you know and if it is because he is toxic or or or, or a, a bit battered or is not good around the people, then fair enough. Let's let's see what is let, let's see what it's about because we hear that apparently he undermined him and everything. Then let's hear about this because Belgium not taking Angolan is a huge mistake. Because I look at that midfield, De Bruyne, Dembele, Carrasco, Charlie, Fellaini. Yeah, they, they, there's some talent in there, but they don't do Fellaini. <laughs> um, these guys don't do what Nangolan does. They don't, they don't have, none of these midfielders have the all-round game of tackling, passing, and shooting that Nainggolan does. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. You know, um, look, as I said again, for Belgium, there's a lot of talent here. There's a, there's a lot of amazing talent here, but I'll say this again. Martinez was the wrong hire. And it is so simple. When you have a team that is so talented going forward, the worst manager to get is an attacker man, man manager. What you need to get is a tactician. It's someone like an Allegri who says, I'm going to allow my team and allow the De Bruyne Hazard and so forth and Lukaku to really give the freedom to express themselves. But I'm going to walk on the midfield and walk on the defense and give us ourselves some, some, some structure, some match management, some tactical management as well. What you don't hire is a brainless buffoon like Roberto Martinez, who isn't a good manager, I told you. There's the YouTube comments are there. Tell me what this guy has achieved. Tell me what great thing this guy has achieved. That of, of, of what gives him the audacity and the right to not take nine goals. Tell me what he's achieved. Please tell me. Thank you. Trump, 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 Trump.